Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Star Athlete of the Week, David Myers, a sophomore golfer from Johannesburg, South Africa, who won in the Battle of the Prim this last week. And David, what went into your victory at the Battle of the Prim? That was an OCU tournament record that you shot in that in that tournament. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I really liked the golf course. I thought it was something that was going to fit my game. Um, all, all of us really played well, the whole team. We, we really did a good job of everyone getting a good score out there, and that helped. Team won the tournament as well. How, much, how significant was that win, considering the other teams in the field? Well, it was, I think it was the top eight out of ten teams in the division. That helped. It kind of gave us momentum going towards Deer Run now for our nationals. Um, again, the guys are doing an unreal job at the moment. We're all really finding our games coming towards the end of the semester now. What were the conditions like for that tournament? The conditions were perfect, like perfect golf conditions. Um, sunny, no wind. It kind of reminded me of back home in South Africa. Um, very, very dry air. Everything was like perfect. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better week out there. Your teammate Rupert Kaminsky is also from South Africa. How has he kind of helped you uh, adjust OCU and what adjustments have you had to make coming over here? I guess um, he came here first, which helped a lot. He kind of like told me what was, it was going to be like and stuff like that. Um, we can relate to a lot of things. I mean, adjustments, you kind of get homesick and stuff like that, being away. And he's really done a good job of like helping me understand like American culture, which has helped. Not that this has anything to do with your golf game, but I understand that you can you can do a handstand for an extended period of time. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been known. I used to actually do gymnastics, which is kind of weird. So that that might be the reason. But yeah, um, I can probably maybe do one for about 20 seconds now. Not as long as I used to though. <laughs> yeah. What brought you here to OCU? Um, probably the golf program. It's one of the best golf programs in the division. Um, Coach Blazer, obviously, he's uh, really good with international players, and I've seen a lot of South Africans have uh, good success, like carrying on after college with their professional golf games and everything like that. So that was a big part in why I came here. What are you studying here? I'm studying advertising at the moment. What kind of career goals do you have for yourself uh, when golf is over? Well, I mean, as much as I want to make it in golf and I want that to be my career, I kind of chose something I could do as a backup plan, so if golf doesn't carry on, so I have something to fall back on in case. So it's really much of a muchness. The degree is kind of saying I just enjoy. I thought it would be fun to do. Well, yeah. All right, talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, David Myers. You can follow the stars on OCUSports.com. What I've learned the most from golf is um, to be to have integrity in everything you say and do. One of the biggest lessons of that sports impacts my daily life is uh, discipline. Be a champion of character. It just means to realize first that you're a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Being a part of NAIA is something that I'm going to keep with me forever because it's not only made me a better athlete, but it's made me a better person. The NAIA really just cares about their student athletes and um, just the experience in general at the school. And I think that that's really important. The NAIA stands for, um, has great core values. Um, one that's most important to me is servant leadership. Being able to serve your community um, is a huge reason why I chose the NAIA. I am a champion of character. 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 Here on the OCU Athletics Update, talking to men's golf coach Kyle Blazer. The Stars recently won the Battle of the Prim in a record-setting tournament. And coach, what went into your team's performance in that tournament? Well, like David said, uh, we had great conditions. Uh, the guys are starting to get some weather around here in Oklahoma. I mean, you can't tell today, but uh, you know, we're starting to get some more consistent weather. We can actually get out and work on, you know, the, the fine things that we need to work on our game. And you know, golf's a game about peaking, and we're starting to uh, we're starting to peak. And I really look forward to when we uh, get to the top of that mountain. Considering the competition in that tournament at the Battle of the Prim, how significant is that win for you? 
Well, I think every win's significant, but uh, that one really sticks out because I, I think every team in that tournament was ranked in the top 25. Uh, eight of the teams were in the top 10, and, you know, we went in, we weren't the number one ranked team, and, you know, I think we won it uh, 15 shots or whatever it was over uh, Wayland Baptist. I, I think we made a statement that, uh, you know, we're here for, for good, and, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to fight them, and it's going to be tough to beat us team also got a win in the San Antonio shootout earlier in the spring. Tell us about that tournament and uh, what went into the team's win there. Well, uh, you know, again, we just uh, we, we played consistent. Uh, we, you get to play two different golf courses, and that venue, the golf courses, are they're unbelievable. Uh, both, both of them have hosted uh, professional events. Uh, one will host the Valero Open here later in San Antonio, and, you know, it's a treat for those kids to get to play golf courses like that, and it's... It, you know, that time of the year is usually when we start coming out of hibernation from the winter and, you know, it's, it's iffy whether we're going to, you know, what team's going to show up. And I, I was just proud that we uh, fought and clawed and, you know, we ended up coming up on top of that one. Five victories, three runner-up finishes in your tournament so far this year. Team is ranked number one. Uh, what's your reaction to the number one ranking? I, rankings, I mean, I've been around it long enough. Rankings don't mean a whole lot. I just, uh, the only thing that really matters to me is we, we play well, give ourselves a chance to uh, come out on top in, in the end in May. Uh, it is good, though. The kids like to look at it. I mean, it's an accomplishment for their work and their efforts uh, to be ranked number one in the country. So, you know, we're excited about it. We're going to, uh, I use the motivation of us not being ranked number one, so now we're going to have to turn it around a little bit and say, you, you know, you've got, You've got the target on your back and front, and everybody's wanting to come after you. So, we'll we'll see how it goes. There's there's a lot of teams. Uh, there's a lot of teams out there that are good. I mean, this year may be one of the strongest uh, I've ever seen. With you know Dalton State and SM Lee, they got a player SM Lee who just you know he's the first NAI player to ever play on the Palmer Cup, which is top 12 Americans. Uh, and you know David Myers last week went out and beat the field that's got an SM Lee or Rupert Kaminsky and Andrew Williamson. I and mean, all these guys are some of the best players in the world, not just NAI players. So we've got a, a deep group of teams and a deep group of individuals. And it's a, it's a really special time to be at top of an NAI program right now. What can you tell us about some of your alums who are playing professionally now? I've got a handful of them. Uh, they're all, uh, like David said, you know, that they come in here and that's their goal is to get a degree and then uh, you go, go after it and see how far a golf can take. And we've, we know Tyron Van Oswegen's having success. He's playing this week in the Houston and he's a five-year PGA Tour veteran. Uh, you know, we've got a bunch of them that are still nipping at their heels to get that one break or to win that one tournament to get them right there with him. And, you know, I, I'm sure Time will tell. We'll have more guys playing on the PGA Tour, and who's to say it's not a Rupert Kaminsky, a David Myers. I mean, and the list goes on and on with the guys that we've got around here. All right. Talking to men's golf coach Kyle Blazer. You can follow the stars on OCUSports.com.